Hi everybody, in this video we are going to see the last theoretical part. We will try to understand the feedback concept, the importance of this subject in control theory, and then we will ready to begin the building of our car. So let's get to do it! In this video, we are going to see what are the devices that we use in the car. In this case, we are going to, to see what are the important things that we have to take in account because there are some things that I teach in last videos. I will try to clarify all the concepts. Okay, in this, vi in this video, we have the, the brain of our project is an Arduino. An Arduino is a microcontroller. In that microcontroller, send signals for, in this case, uh, the pin 10 and the pin 11. Those, peer, those pins uh, make that the motors moves. We need two pins because uh, there are two motors that we want to move. In this case, 11 and 12, the pin 11 moves the right motor and the right motor moves when the microcontroller uh, sends the signals and when the motor moves, that movement makes that an encoder moves too and that movement of the encoders makes that the encoders send a signal to the microcontroller and you could see the loop uh, that is very important you have to note that the pin 11 send a signal to that bridge edge and uh, that makes that the motor moves in that movement may, makes that the encoder uh, reads the movement and that movement uh, is written by the this sensor and it sends the signal to the to the pin tree of the microcontroller. In this case, the right motor is the lecture of that motor is made by the encoders and the encoders makes ticks. You know there is ticks. It's very important that you understand this concept. In the last videos we watch the the model of the of the car and we watch that that the model is something like this when i want to know what is the position x and y what is the position of the car and we are going to like inputs we are going to need what are the velocity the linear velocity and the angular velocity with those with those components I could achieve a desired point that is the model that we developed in the last videos but right here if you if you see if you see this model that is a real model we have an Arduino and Arduino sent the signal to a shield that the name is bridge H and that bridge makes that the motor right and motor left move um, that movement makes that the encoder send the signal to the microcontroller. So, right here we have the ticks are the lectures, are the lectures that we could obtain of the plant. The Arduino obtain ticks from the from the encoders. It doesn't obtain position X and Y, it, it, it only obtains the movements, the ticks. But we watched in the last video, in the odometry video, that ticks could be processed and we could develop that things, we could change it and transform, for, transform 
this information to distance. I could change this and transform it to distance. And in the last video, in the odometer video, we watched that the distance we could transform in position X and Y. That is very important. I could transform the signal to the information that I want. I want to know what is the position X and what is the position Y of my car. But I don't have that measurements. I don't have X and Y. I have only ticks because we are going to use in colors. Then we need to apply the equation that we watched in the last video and transform the ticks to distance in the distance to position to coordinate position that that is the most important thing that we are going to to do okay we have x and y in y position right here you need to think that the Arduino is going to do that. The Arduino, we have to program those things. Then I have ticks and I have to convert that ticks. I have to transform that ticks to position in, uh, using the equation that we watched in the last bit. Okay, that is the first thing the lectures that I have to make but what are the inputs of my plant? the inputs you could see or for this, for, uh, this is a scheme that the inputs of my plant is this the pin 11 and the pin 12 of the pin 11 and the pin 10 those those are the inputs that are going to use in the bridge edge that that signal is called pwm signal pwm signals that are the pwm signals are signals that, that the arduino use to move the motors and that signals have a range the range of the signals is 0 to 255 that that is the range of the signal if i send if i send a signal a pwm signal with this with this number uh, 255 i could make that the motor move moves at his fastest speed this is the maximum velocity that the motor could, could achieve but if I send a signal of, of this pulse, pulse width of 100 that means that the motor moves but no faster than uh, 255 255 means send the maximum velocity of the of the motor and 100 and it is proportional to to the number that i sent for the pwm sign in this case if i send zero then the motor stops the motor don't move okay but what i'm trying to say in in this part in this part i am trying to say that the inputs of the plant you know that the input of the plant is right here the pwm right and pwm left those are the inputs those are the inputs that the car has that is very important that those those pwm are the signal that the that my car use and I could achieve I, I am going to read the ticks of the uh, right wheel and the ticks of the left wheel and I could uh, transform that measurements in the distance 
of the right wheel and the distance of the left wheel. And that's it. I need to think in that. This is the model that we are going to implement. And you have to know how, how is, is this work and why I made the last video. The last video we watch equations and, and you could be strange in thinking about that. Uh, why are he doing that? What, what is he doing that? And you, you have to know that those equations are important because we are going to program this Arduino and we don't have the model that, that we develop. We have this model. We have a model that have the, the PWM inputs and we have a uh, ticks of the outputs of, of the of uh, like a output i have the ticks of the right and the ticks of the left wheel that are the outputs no that's model then my arduino with program we have to code that model we have to code uh, to model that we have to find this model those are the things that are we are going to do on the next video. In the next video we are going to try to uh, build the car and all the different devices that the car has. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate that you really like uh, this work. Uh, I try to do my best every day and I hope that you share, like and comment this video.